Police are trying to unravel a bizarre shooting in Hollywood tonight, a shooting that left a 10-year-old boy dead and sent three other people to the hospital. Entertainer Michael Jackson in the hospital again tonight, just spreading cheer among burn patients there while fans wait for a glimpse of their idol and jamming the switchboard there. A standoff at the Libyan embassy in London continues. A gunman will not come out and police cannot go in. Britain's Prince Andrew leaves his mark in a way he didn't intend while touring the city today. Stu says the doctors went as weaker, and Kevin will shed some light on the possibility of liquid sunshine. Those stories and all today's news coming up on News 4LA Nightline. All right. It was in the 1800s that young Winston and his mom came in to open a sailor. He had a lolly in one hand and tuppence in the other. Said he hoped to have the privilege of banking at Lloyd's. Tuppence for the sailor, sir. Regular as clockwork he was, through two great wars. And while the world's changed since the days of Winston Churchill, Lloyd's Bank still stands for privilege banking. Lloyd's Bank, California. We've always known who we work for. Keep in touch with KNX News Radio 1070. Keep in touch with traffic reports throughout the day, and we'll tell you if it's rain or shine anytime. Keep in touch with the bulls and bears of Wall Street. When money talks, you'll know. Keep in touch with the playground of sports. Whatever the game, you'll know the score. Keep in touch with Food News, weekday mornings at 10. It's always well done. Keep in touch with what's happening here and around the world with CBS. Keep in touch. KNX News Radio, 1070. Toyota, John Beard, Stu Nahan Sports, Kevin O'Connell Weather, at Nightside Reporters Carla Aragon and Phil Schumann. This is News 4 LA, Nightside. Good evening, everyone. Detectives are mystified tonight by a shooting in the Wilshire District of Los Angeles. A 10-year-old boy is dead and three other people are wounded. That's that reporter Phil Schumann is here now with details on the story. So. Trisha, at this hour, police are still interviewing witnesses and victims, but Los Angeles police said they have no suspects in this curious case. What's more, they haven't even been able to come up with a motive for the early evening shooting.